And now, Sky Woman from Judy Brooke. Good morning. I'd like to tell you a story because stories are really important. They tell us what's expected of us. They tell us how to act. They tell us where we've come from, tell us where we might be going. And so the story I'm going to tell today is about Sky Woman. It's a story I learned from Robin Wall Kimmerer, who is a first person, a Native American as we call them, or Indians or indigenous peoples. She is a member of the Potawatomi Nation. And the story I learned from her comes from the Iroquois and other tribes from the Great Lakes area. The story is about Sky Woman. It's an origin story, and it starts with a dark, dark sky. In the beginning, everything was dark. There was a black sky and you could not see because there was no light. And then a hole formed in that sky and light streamed through. And in that hole, a person fell through from the skyland. And this person came flying down out of that hole, wearing her best buckskin dress. This is Sky Woman. She fell and her arms streamed out behind her. And she came wearing her best moccasins. And most importantly, in her hands, she carried green shoots. grasses and weeds, and in her other hand, seeds. And she was falling very fast, very fast, and she, the creatures were watching her from down below, and they were concerned that she might crash. And so geese, watching this, flew up to try to save her from crashing and the geese with their long necks gabbled and, and said let's fly up and save her we could grab hold her on our backs and the geese held her on their backs. And geese, of course, have these wonderful beaks. Let's give them gray heads. And they had watched her coming. As she fell, her hair streamed out behind her. And the geese, cradling her softly in their wings, came lower and lower and lower. Down below, where they were headed was water. It 
And in the midst of that water, an old turtle, a mossy backed turtle, with his head out of the water, also watched her coming. And the geese set her gently down on the back of the turtle. So here is Sky Woman who's fallen. Here she is coming down with her, her buckskin dress. Her hand cradling treasures that she brought from the sky world. And she still has on her best moccasins. And the animals were concerned about her because they realized she needed land. And so the loon knew, had heard that there was soil at the bottom of the lake. And the loon dived deep, but he couldn't get it. And he died. next came the beaver, and the beaver went down deep, and he could not get it. Then came the otter, and the otter couldn't get to the bottom of the lake. And last but not least came the muskrat, lowly little muskrat, who dived deep, kicked hard with his little feet, with his ratty-like tail streaming out behind him. And he came up, and in his paws he held mud from the bottom of the big lake. And Sky Woman, in such gratitude for that gift, began to dance. And as she danced, the dirt and the mud spread over the back of the, of the turtle shell, creating land. And her dancing continued so grateful for the gifts that the animal has, had given her. And then when all the land was made, she, re she opened her hands, because remember, she had come with green things in her hands, plants. And these she planted in the dirt and the seeds that she had brought, she scattered around, and the earth was filled with plants that would support both her and the animals that had given her so much, given her shelter, given her a new home. And she did not come alone because she was pregnant. And soon her peoples would people the new earth and be interdependent with these animals for their existence. A harmonious, loving relationship of the peoples with the animals, with the plants, with the earth itself.